here here's just inside the front door you have a uh, step down into the living room and then step up to the dining room area kitchen different kind of flooring uh, colder kitchen obviously No washer dryer, I mean, no, no refrigerator or dishwasher or uh, stove. Here's the eating area of the kitchen. And then uh, some cathedral ceilings in here. This is a bank owned property, so it's probably going to be very hard to get much information on this property. I can put a call in, but I don't even think there's a direct representative you can talk to. You probably just submit an offer on this online, I think. So, to get details from a bank, usually very difficult because they don't really talk to the seller. They just foreclose and get the property, and that's kind of that. Um, just a little canal back here. There's the looks like a heater. A little canal in the back. Be your family room, of course, back here. Back to the front door, and then a hallway here. No electric, sorry. Into the bedrooms. Here's one bedroom. Closet. This place is in, you know. I know Barbara likes them nice. This is just a little rough around the edges. Not unusual for a foreclosure. And coming back, another bedroom here. I cute they had a thing here for the kids, I guess. And then a little closet here, which you really can't see well. It's a linen closet, master bedroom. Laminate floor, not in the greatest shape. And I'm doing a great sales job here, but I never want to know the truth. Okay, fancy tub in here. Shower, nice. It's the nicest part of the house that I've seen. Okay, I'll give you a glimpse of the front. And that should do it. This way in the front of the house. Nice neighborhood. And here's the front of the house. Looks like some pretty good shape. There we go. 